This is welcoming you to LIVSA, a liver stiffness app, which is a solution to help those who do not have access to very reliable internet service to be able to actually go ahead and estimate the stiffness of your, their liver using very simple algorithms, including blood test only. I hope you will find it useful in the assessment of your liver stiffness so that you can make treatment decisions and all prognosis. The app will open into this display in this part. If you are new to it and you want to know how to use the app, you can go on to the useful tips there and it tells you about the app. I call it LIFSA because it is liver stiffness app. Uh, it talks about what is needed, talking about aspartate amino transaminase, alanine amino transaminase, platelet count and age of patients. There are two calculators here which will be relevant, uh, the APRI and the FIB4, and tells you some basis for why that has been validated. And then if you want to go on to assessing the stiffness of a liver of a patient or yourself, click here. Let's start with the APRI calculator. Here you can see it says enter patient's AST result. Take note of the unit. If it is not in this unit, convert it. So you put in here and let's imagine this is 65. And then the upper normal level. Most times it is 40, but check the reference of laboratory. It usually will have it on the report. So put a 40 here. Then this part, which talks about the platelet count, uh, excluding the 10 raised to power 9 part, which is just about either, let's take, for example, 30 or 100 or something, and then go ahead and then put calculate. And then you have to scroll up and you see a result here. So a 5.4 tells you it's a severe fibrosis, which is probable cirrhosis. If, for example, this is 200, uh, then you can go here and see the result again is 0 0.8, suggests that the stiffness of the liver is not significant. So that is uh, quite simple and straightforward. Let's try the second one, which is the FIB4 calculator. Here, open slickly, and then you can go on here. Let's imagine the patient is 52 years old, the AST level was 65, and uh, ALT level is uh, 59, for example. And let's imagine the platelet count of about 90, okay? And do calculate. It tells you that based on the information you submitted, the FIB score is 4.89. Now, to understand what this means, you go on here. So 4.89, remember that? It tells you a little bit about it. And because it is greater than 2.65, it tells you that it's advanced fibrosis, okay? And that, so for some uh, liver conditions and hepatitis, you can actually go ahead and start treatment without waiting for a liver biopsy. If the result falls in intermediate region, then it becomes problematic and you do need to access additional support from a specialist. I think this is what you can take for now. I hope you will find this app useful and uh, do let me know your comments. Thank you very much.